got a dog, got carpeting, then you probably know what pee smells like from a week ago. So this episode is for you. Few things are as frustratingly persistent as the lingering odor from dog urine. It's like that friend you let stay with you for just a few days, you know, to get back on their feet, but then they end up barefoot on the couch for several weeks clinging to your remote. So throughout my years, I've enjoyed many little pups and I miss them every day. But what I don't miss is the smell of their pee. I currently share my days with a cockapoo. He looks like a teddy bear. And he's on a pretty good regular routine, but accidents do happen, unfortunately, once in a while. So I wanted to explain what finally worked for me to remedy the odor problem, especially when dealing with a small spot of urine. So this is not a video regarding treating an entire room that was soiled by an irresponsible tenant pet owner. I'm speaking of a single pee spot that is easily remembered by those that care about where they live. But before we discuss what worked, here's what didn't. Resolve Pet Expert, Nature's Miracle, and the Vinegar Trick. There is always an initial masking of the odor, so it appeared as if it might work. But without fail, the odor would always come back, especially after shampooing the carpets again. So the only thing that completely eliminated the problem and disrupted the chemical reactions in the bacteria was isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. It's a clear liquid that did not damage any of my carpeting, and it's very inexpensive. But a strong word of caution, this is a highly flammable liquid, so it should be used sparingly and away from any type of possible ignition source, such as lighters, baseboard heaters, pilot flames, etc. Now there are a few different types of isopropyl alcohol sold. Some are even green, so you definitely want to avoid that. I happen to prefer the 90% solution, but the 70% solution also works very well. It just doesn't dry as fast. Now once again, I would only apply this to a small spot of urine. It's definitely far too dangerous to use for wide areas. And here's exactly what I do. If the urine spot is fresh, I first lay down some paper towels and step on them to absorb as much urine as possible from the carpet. Now this might take a few tries, but you want to make sure you get up the bulk of the urine first. Then I would saturate the carpet with just enough isopropyl alcohol to ensure it reaches the carpet padding. Let that soak in for a few minutes and then finish by grabbing some more paper towels and absorb the alcohol. It's okay if it remains a little damp because it'll dry within a day. And so if the urine spot is old and dry, simply skip the initial absorption step and apply the isopropyl alcohol. By the way, the great part of using paper towels is that you can see where the yellowing is so the goal is to hold up and view a paper towel in front of a light until you see no yellowing or staining. And that way you know you picked up the majority of the urine and the little bit of isopropyl alcohol that remains will finish the job. Please keep in mind that isopropyl alcohol does have an odor itself while it's evaporating, but the smell will be gone within a day along with the smell of urine. So don't forget this remedy. If you'd like to see more crazy short videos on what you shouldn't forget, please like and subscribe.